वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू द सेकेंड ऑनलाइन सेशन ऑफ क्लास सेवेंथ कंप्यूटर्स सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर सॉफ्टवेयर सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द हेरार्की ऑफ द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर सॉफ्टवेयर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी मस्ट नो वॉट आर कंप्यूटर सॉफ्टवेयर एज यू आर नो we computer is a dumb device it cannot perform anything by its own to perform any function with the help of computer we have to give instructions to it so the set of instruction we give to the computer to perform any task is known as program and same way the set of programs to achieve a specific goal is known as a software so computer have various types of software the first one is known as system software and another one is application software system software is further divided into three categories that is operating system language processors and utility softwares we will discuss them and application software are further classified into two categories that is general purpose application software and specific purpose application software students i know few of them few of you are not having the books also so i'm sending the notes in form of a pdf file so read that properly study them properly and after that solve the worksheet in your notebook so first of all we are taking the system software system software are those software which control the operation of the computer system it helps and run it helps in manage and run the program hardware computer hardware in a efficient manner and manage the data and other operations of the computer so very first type of system software is operating system operating system operating system is considered as interface between the user and the hardware it manage overall operation of the computer system the memory unit the input output devices and cpu time everything is managed by the operating system hard disk space resource availability everything is managed by the operating system <clears throat> some of the common operating systems are linux microsoft windows mac os apple ios and android android are being used in your mobile phones and you are familiar with the windows operating system various versions of windows have come nowadays in this book we will use windows 10 now come to another type of operating system that is language processor as you all know computer can understand only the machine language that is the language of zeros and ones and we write the program in high level language so we need a translator we need a translator which convert the high level language instructions into the binary language so that computer can understand as you know whenever our prime minister moves in other country there is a translator with him whatever the people say to our talk to our prime minister in their language that translator converts it into english and he tells it to a pm and same way whatever pm replied he translate into that particular language and tell them so translator are being used to translate the content of one language into another language here language processor are used to convert the high level language programs into the machine language but translator are of various types the one the first one is assembler then compiler the interpreter <coughs> excuse me assemblers are those translator programs which convert the assembly language you have studied before assembly language which uses minimix to write the program short forms to write the program 
it convert the assembly language program into the machine language so that computer can understand other two type of interpreter or other two type of translator are compiler and interpreter <clears throat> both converts the high level language program into the machine language the difference between both is what compiler converts the high level language program into machine language in one go ek baar mein it reads the whole program find out the errors and ask to remove the errors means debug the program and after that converts the whole program into its machine language as it is converting the whole program in one go so it is little bit faster another type of interpreter pro, uh, translator program is interpreter and this language processor also converts the high level language program into machine language but the difference is what it converts the program line by line as it reads first instruction and after that it check for it whether it is correct or not if it is correct it gives the output translate into the machine language then after read another line and if there is any error it will display the error in front of the programmer and pro programmer will rectify it after that it will again do the same process as it is doing line by line so it is little bit slower you can consider this case as your english teacher gave you a story and she asked you to translate it into hindi then one student has translated in a form he has written uh, he has it the complete story at once and then start speaking in english in hindi another student start started in a way that he is reading one sentence and translate into hindi and tells it to you and another then another sentence to the second method is little bit slower and now it is utility software as we all know the computer are having so many files in it we are using we are generating so many files in it so we have to maintain the computer properly for proper working for proper working there are so many utility program one of them is antivirus programs as we all know there are so many viruses computer viruses they are the computer viruses are small programs which are designed in a way to disturb the normal operation of the computer they are designed in a way intentionally they are designed in a way so that they can disturb the normal operation of the computer and they can come to our system by a internet we when we are downloading anything we are opening the mails or we are transferring the data from one computer to another using the pen drives they come in any form so various utility programs are available so one of them few of them are nortron avg and quick heal we must equip our system with a good antivirus software to be safe now it comes to application software application software are the software which are designed <clears throat> to help the user to perform specific functions such as as in a particular office the um, office members required to generate to write few letters and for that purpose they required word processing softwares they required word processing softwares the word processing software are those software which allow to process the words as we can write letters we can design the question papers we can write the stories so word processing softwares are those software which allow us to write and process the data in form of text clear in word processing softwares we can include text as well as pictures after that spreadsheet few of the word processing softwares are word which you have studied in your 5th standard also and the writer which you will study in 9th uh, standard and so on now spreadsheet software are those software whose workspace looks like your third class mathematics books where so many squares are there where you write the data they are considered as cells and they are used to perform mathematical operation few of spreadsheet softwares are excel calc which you will study in your 9th uh, class 
and Lotus 1, 2, 3, which I had studied when I was studying the computer. Now, that is DBMS. Here, the huge amount of data can be managed as in our school, the record of students or record of teachers are being maintained in managed in DBMS. DBMS softwares are Access, MS Access, Oracle or Base, which you will study in your 9th standard. Now it comes to DDP, Desktop Publishing Softwares. Using these softwares, your books are designed. So these are used to design brochures, journals, books and newspapers. They are used for publishing purposes. Now it comes to graphics, multimedia and presentation software. One of the presentation, you know, PowerPoint presentation software. These are used to give presentations and some of the software are used to design visiting card, marriage card, invitation card, birthday card, that is Photoshop and uh, multimedia softwares. Multimedia softwares where multimedia means text, audio, video, all can use in this. They are called as multimedia software. So few examples of these softwares are Adobe Photoshop and Impress and PowerPoint etc. Now, specific purpose softwares. A specific purpose software are designed according to the requirement of a particular person, individual or particular organization. As payroll system, as account maintenance system, maintenance system, which are designed for the CAs and billing system or resource management system as these all are considered as specific purpose application softwares. Now it comes to the last topic that is open source initiative. Open source initiative are the, or this is an organization which design the programs in a way the user can access their source code and he can design, he can change it according to their needs. And nowadays government is Government is, yes, nowadays government is making them popular for the use, for the same purpose, the open source software are being used in our 10th and 9th standard. Proprietary softwares, they are the software where is restriction on modifications or copying them. Some of the open source softwares are as Ubuntu operating system, Android, Open Office. As you have, I have told you, the writer, the calc or impress or the base you will use in your, you will study in your uh, further classes. Mozilla Firefox and uh, VLC Media Player, they all are open source softwares. So that's it, beta. The chapter 1 is over. I'm sending the PDF of all the notes. Study them well. And uh, find out the logos of various types of software on the internet. And make a word file where you can paste those particular logos of various softwares. And solve the worksheet in your notebook. Be safe. Maintain social distancing and support in defeating corona. Okay, bitte. Bye.